Inspiration for me comes from a lot of different places. Sometimes it comes from pain, um, me not understanding a situation, me watching people go through some kind of struggle and not knowing how to help. And so sometimes a song will kind of come to me and that's kind of my way. Sometimes it's me venting. You know, my first song started as journal entries. So it was just kind of the ups and downs of love inspire me. And then there's me just feeling overwhelmed about the world and I don't know where to turn to, so I turn to music. So that ends up inspiring me. And then that's different from what lifts my spirits, which is like other music, other artists, you know, visual arts, watching people dance, um, going to a good show, you know. When I thought about, you know, being an artist, and I went to Berkeley College of Music. I was like, I'm gonna learn how to write. You know, I sung a lot acapella and I sung a lot over hip hop instrumentals when I first came up just singing at parties. But I wanted to learn how to sing with a band. I wanted to learn how to write music. I, so I went to Berkeley College of Music. I said, I'm gonna just create my own curriculum and my own, you know what I mean? I was an undeclared major and I was just like, this is everything I'm interested in. And business was definitely up there only because I didn't want to be taken advantage of as an artist not because I'm passionate about business I do like to make money you know and I don't like to be taken advantage of so really I just feel like it's important as entertainers to know what's going on business wise and then I have to not get sucked into it and just like at a certain point let it go so I can be creative because it can kill the vibe. <laughs> One of the things I take from him as an artist is to just do me. That's absolutely probably one of the best lessons he could give to any artist is to be yourself. To be considered a man means that you are mentally, you know, above a boy. And boys do things like not consider their feelings and are just reckless and they don't think about the future. I was seeing someone at the time, but not seeing them enough to care that there's all this money and all these people want me to do is have threesome with them. I was like, I've watched porns before. I know how, I know that, how they go down. Sure, that's easy. No. We had, we had no contacts with anybody, right? Because we were with Kanye's people, so they felt like they didn't have to help us. So we were at the Liberty of Jive Records. So we were nervous and we were like ordering all our food, drinks, calling people, running up the tab. So the very next day, we were so scared that they were gonna take us to jail. <laughs> we snuck out of the hotel, out of the back door. <laughs> 